I'm Jennifer Rexford. I'm a professor in the computer science department at Princeton University, where I collaborate with networking and distributed systems and programming languages researchers to work on software-defined networking. So software-defined networking is changing the way we design and manage networks by having a logically centralized controller that can run arbitrary programs that speak to the underlying network of switches using an open API to the packet forwarding logic, like the OpenFlow standard developed at Stanford. So SDN, software-defined networking, is making it possible to program the network, but it's not making it easy. And so the problem we're addressing in our work is what are the kind of programming abstractions that would allow sophisticated applications to be developed and composed out of smaller modules running on top of a standard platform. And so our project is called Frenetic, and it's a joint effort between Cornell and Princeton involving networking researchers working together with people in distributed systems and programming languages to help identify powerful reusable abstractions for building sophisticated controller applications. So if we succeed, what we enable is for people not to build just one controller application that's tightly integrated with the controller platform, but instead enable essentially an app store of applications that can be built and combined together on top of a software-defined network. Now, how do we solve the problem? In the Frenetic project, what we're doing is we're trying to develop language abstractions for each part of running a network. So if you view that you have a network of switches controlled by a controller that's running OpenFlow, you need to be able to collect information about the network or read the state of the network to be able to figure out what the topology is, what the current traffic patterns are, and maybe even hear about very specific packets that indicate about something important happening in the network, such as a host moving to a new location. And you need to be able to write new policies into the network. And you want to be able to write those in a way that update the entire network as if it could happen in one fell swoop, even though in practice you're working with the distributed collection of switches. And most importantly, in the middle, you want to be able to build a sophisticated controller application out of a bunch of different modules that are doing different tasks. And this is the heart of what I want to describe. So today, when you write an application, you can really only run one, because each application you'd be running would be controlling the same set of switches, the same set of rules, and the same set of packets. And that makes it incredibly difficult, because if you have two applications running, they're going to step all over each other. The rules installed by one application will overwrite the rules installed by another, or worse yet, do something that's actually in conflict with what the other application is trying to do. So we'd like to let people write an application that might, let's say, do firewalling for access control or routing to decide how traffic should be handled or monitoring to measure some part of the traffic or even a load balancer that might be distributing traffic over multiple copies of a web server. Notice what's happening here is not the same as just running four different applications on a smartphone or on a PC. These applications are, in fact, only partially specifying what you want to do in the network. You don't want to load balance some traffic and route the rest. You want to load balance all traffic going to web servers and then route that traffic over the network. So we need to find a way to let the programmer write each of these modules independently and then say how they should be composed together to handle the same set of traffic over the entire network. And the goal, and this is what we achieve, is providing a way for them to do that independently and then have some runtime system underneath take care of the gory details of synthesizing the low-level packet processing rules that have to go into the underlying switches. And that's what we do with Frenetic. Next step, once you have a set of programming abstractions that allow you to query the network, compose applications out of multiple independently written and reusable modules, and update the state of the network, the next question is how do we actually create a community of developers that can build applications on a platform like this? Today, we have network practitioners who, for the most part, don't write software, and software developers who, for the most part, don't know a lot about how networks work. And so one big challenge for the SDN community as a whole is to develop a developer community that can make use of this and other platforms. And the second thing is to be able to enable, enable us to do more than just control the network, to be able to integrate with things like the servers running in data centers and the applications running on them to really orchestrate a wide range of services for which the network is just one part of the underlying infrastructure. <laughs>